Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech. I'm doing another pack opening today. As some of you guys saw recently for my birthday, I opened a pack of French Unlimited Revised, so White Border Revised. Uh, it was a pretty disappointing experience. I got a life lace. I have much higher hopes for this German starter deck. This is a revised white border German starter deck. I traded for this about a year and a half ago from a local game store. Um, I happen to know the owner over at Green Lake Games, and we were involved in a very large trade, including some legacy staples and modern staples. And this was one of the pieces that I picked up in that trade. I post a lot of my trades over on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you're interested in seeing that type of stuff, those are the best places to check it out is at Sartorus on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I've been looking at the math on this. We're looking at two rares here out of 121 rares. So I've got about an 8% chance to pull a dual land out of here. Everything except a dual land does not end so well. There's some really cool cards, a lot of nostalgic history, but value-wise, if I don't pull a dual land, uh, it's just all going away, which I'm okay with. This is a pack that I've never opened, and one of the things I would like to do eventually over my time playing Magic is open one of each pack of everything out there. Magic cards should be opened and played and shuffled. I'm a fan of opening packs and playing with the cards, so I'm hoping there's going to be something cool in here that I can throw into an EDH deck that will have a story behind it, or something that really reminds me of my youth. I opened a lot of English Revised when I was a kid. Uh, let's jump in here and see what we get. It's been so long since I've opened a starter deck. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be another round of shrink wrapping that is around the card. So as you pull this out of here, these shouldn't be loose cards, they should be shrink wrapped, which is exactly what we're looking at here. We've got the uncommons here. The rares are probably gonna be right before that book, and then we're gonna have the commons. Um, they might be right after, it's been so long since I've opened one of these. So excited. As you guys know, I've got a tremor, so I naturally shake, but uh, this is more than normal because it's just, it's so cool to open one of these old packs and hopefully get some cards out of here that we can play. Have a lot of fun here. So the internal packaging has another one of those pull areas on it. Um, so it's not just shrink wrapped, but there's a, a little string that you can open to pull it apart. Or at least I believe there is. Actually, no, it's just folded. Uh, be a little too careful here opening everything up. And there's, there's a small chance there's an underground C in here. Actually, the best possible starter deck that somebody can get um, is a Bayou and a tropical island. They're right next to each other on the rare page. In alpha and beta, you could get both of them in the same starter deck. Um, I don't know if that's true of the foreign revised stuff. Um, oh, there we go. Cards are so crisp there. Let's see what we're looking at here. Uh, where's that rule book? Let's see if we can slide that rule book out just a little bit. Oh, I don't want to figure out what the rare is yet. Because I'm not sure if the rare is directly before or directly after. So I kind of want to take the last two or three cards here, um, leave them, and go through the commons first. Let's look at some of these commons here. Some fun. Let's see how many of these I actually recognize. It's been a long time. Oh, Disenchant. Great sideboard card. Psychic Venom, you put it on a land. If that land gets tapped, their owner takes two damage. Mountains. Basic lands are some of the best stuff to get out of here. Oh, Earthbind. That is a classic artwork from Quentin Hoover, who is unfortunately no longer with us. Uh, it looks like these are a little bit off center. They're a little bit on the lower side. Um, so the centering on a lot of this earlier stuff wasn't perfect. Um, that's 
artwork that you wouldn't normally see in Magic these days. Oh, Circle of Protection. Green. Oh. 1-1 one, one Forest Walker for one. Creatures used to be so bad. They've gotten so much better. Weakness. Excellent. Vold. Samite Healer. 1-1. One, one. Prevent a damage. Oh, Drain Life. Oh, that was a nice kill card. Regeneration. Lots and lots of basic land in these. In fact, these were really the only way to get basic land. Crawworm, a 6-4 vanilla creature for 6. Not exactly Primeval Titan. Oh, Blue Elemental Blast. Really nice. There's a sideboard card. Very, very happy with that one. And Disintegrate. Ooh, Phantasmal Terrain. Herlon Minotaur at 2-3 three for 3. We've got Fog. Oh, my favorite island. Very happy about that. Healing Solve, or no, un Holy Strength, not Healing Solve. Oh, Creature Bond. When that creature dies, you're gonna take damage, maybe equal to their toughness. I'll have to look that one up later. Lots of basic lands. Grizzly Bears, the original bear. Gray Ogre, three casting costs Grizzly Bear. Creatures used to be so bad. Pestilence. Oh, that is such a cool old card. Spend a black, do a damage to everything. All creatures. It goes away if you, there are no creatures left. So it kind of lives on the creatures. Stream of Life. Ooh, another cool island. Okay. Let's see where we are here. Moving on to the uncommons. Uh, what would I like to see in the uncommon spot? Um, Demonic Tutor would be really nice. Um, basically a few EDH cards out there. Bog Wraith. Tsunami. Um, Steel Artifact. More lands. Hurricane. More lands. Um, animate artifact. Ornithopter. That's a that's a card that sees some play in robots. In Affinity. Ooh. Oh, I should really know what this is. Life. Ooh. Not life place. Um, does it damage every time they cast a green spell? Or maybe you gain a life every time they cast a green spell? I think it's life tap. Does it damage? I think every time they cast a green, I'll have to look that one up. Oh, clone. Ah, that's a lot of text, and that is still a complicated rules card. Very, very cool. I've got a zero eight wall for three. You don't see walls anymore. Oh, swords to plowshares. That is a nice card. Very, very playable eternal card. Okay, so we should be looking at the rares here right after uh, this rule book. Let's move this out of the way and see what we got. Oh, this is a Hydra that for each mana you put into it, it gets a plus one, plus one on it. Um, I believe it has an upkeep cost to it. I, I never actually played this card. Well, let's see what we've got after the Hydra. Bad Moon. Plus one, plus one to all black creatures. Oh, this was a pretty rough pack over here. Um, we've also got a Elvis Archers. Two, one for Striker. So we got three rares here. Our total value on this pack is the Elemental Blast and a few cool looking islands along with the Swords to Plowshares. Maybe I should quit opening packs. I don't think I'm so good at the lottery. Watch it. Ah! How'd that happen? 
Two hundred dollars in cards gone. Oh, I should quit opening packs. My God, I guess somebody's got to open them. I've got patron pack openings coming up here very soon. I will be opening them hopefully later on tonight, and I'll have a video out within a day of this. Don't worry, we've got some more cool packs to open over the next few months. Uh, cards should be open, shuffled, and played. This is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech, cracking magic packs so that they can be played.